Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Adrian's Digital Basement 2. On today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this. It's a webcam, and it's a really old one. And we're gonna try using it with OBS, which is what I'm recording all this video with. So we're gonna see how the quality is. Ah, yes, the early days of webcams. Here it is, it's a D-Link. There's a lot of glare on here, so uh, before I keep filming, let's get this unwrapped. Yes, this camera comes to me thanks to Sterling. Thank you very much for giving me this. Um, it's un, uh, unused, it's still in the original shrink wrap, which is proving a little difficult to open. Okay, there we go. Uh, once we get this off, we'll take a look at the, uh, at the specs. Um, I just noticed, <laughs> looking at the back, someone <laughs> has gone ahead and claimed the re the rebate, the mail-in rebate. That was something you had to do in the old days. You had to, like, cut away the UPC or whatever barcode and send that in and get your money back. So, for all I know, this camera was, like, free with the rebate. Anyhow, here we go. It's a D-Link. It's the visual stream, digital multimedia, personalize your e-communications, DSB-C110. That's the model number. Look at these features here. Boy, this camera doesn't do very good with the exposure. Uh, I'm using the Panasonic here. Anyhow, it's for desktops. It's got 352 by 288 resolution, <laughs> up to 30 frames per second. <laughs> And free 24 by seven tech support. Wow. Um, <laughs> take a look at the, the styling. It is like so trying to be Apple iMac, uh, the original Bondi blue there with that teal color, but instead of the clear plastic, like the iMac had, it has just sort of a white plastic. At least this is how it looks here. Obviously USB 1.1. We're going to see if this camera from whatever year this is works on my Windows 10 computer here. And if it does, just like if it works right off the bat, well, we'll see if OBS can, can, can use it. Maybe I'll use this for my, um, <laughs> for my videos. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm laughing so much. Uh, more features. Okay. True resolution, audio video software included. I'm sure we can't use that because it's probably for Windows XP, I'd imagine conference and send video email like video email is supposed to be some like super futuristic thing like sending little like postage stamp size videos through email like <laughs> quality would be so bad so so bad um all right uh okay the back we looked at this oh i gotta check out this diagram here <laughs> visual stream digital multimedia okay we saw that so yeah, your desktop computer with the camera, yeah. Uh, there is your D-Link wireless gateway router. So, you know, you should be using wireless, right? And it should be D-Link branded to your cable DSL modem, to your internet. And these beams, these do -do 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 sonar beams need to go to another computer. <laughs> it's a DSB C110 with a laptop computer. You know, didn't it say right here that it's for desktops? Doesn't have an icon for laptops, but it looks like here you can use it on a laptop with a wireless adapter required because what laptops at the time didn't have built-in Wi-Fi. It's kind of giving us an idea of like when this thing is from. Let's see, can we read the text there? Make your communication with your friends and family truly memorable with this feature wrist rich dsb c110 it's the next best thing to being there personally from sending live video to taking digital snapshots this camera gives you a variety of options to communicate over the internet quickly and simply on the side of the box camera desktop stand driver video software with a number one i don't know what the little one means quick install guide oh right here one software updates documentation uh, documentation available at dlink.com. Sorry about the glare there. There we go. Toll free 877-45-D-Link. Email support at dlink.com. 
And on this side here, all righty, video message to email, video conferencing 101, CMOS sensor, frame rate 30 is all the stuff. Oh, compatible with Microsoft NetMeeting. Requirements, Pentium 2, MMX, or above. <laughs> 64 megs of RAM, Windows 98, 2000, ME, XP with USB support, and a CD-ROM. So it doesn't even support Macintosh. Isn't that interesting? I would have assumed with the color scheme here, it would have been compatible with the Mac. Um, let's open this up. Ooh, we got a genuine D-Link hologram sticker there. Let's open this. And I'm going to try to figure out when this is from. Because if it was out at the time the Mac uh, iMac was out, which I'm assuming it would be because the iMac was kind of an early adopter of USB. Um, <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh dear, oh dear. Look at this. All right, so unboxing the awesome D-Link camera. There is the extremely cheap plastic stand. Uh, looks like the camera is in here. I put a little piece of tape to hold this all together. Let's open that up. There is the camera. Oh, it looks pretty terrible now. Is that clear? Like, it's gotten all chalky. This uh, blue plastic is actually kind of has a rubbery texture. At least it's not sticky. This feels so cheaply made. Like, the plastic doesn't fit together well. I mean, focus ring, I guess. Oh, at least it's not sticky. USB cable, looks pretty normal, I guess. We've got software and a CD in here. Here is the CD, Visual Stream Digital Multimedia. And anything interesting in here? USB port required, Windows XP ME 2098 Second Edition. Windows 98 Second Edition was the first version of Windows that actually supported USB. Although, was there a Windows 95 USB driver pack? Maybe there was actually as well. I don't really remember. I know Windows 98 uh, got USB support for sure. Installing the drivers. It's all pretty run of the mill. I mean, I'm just going to hope that with Windows 10, this just works. I mean, it may not. And this video is going to be a bust. Big bust. Nothing at all about Macintosh support. All right. So I'm going to unwrap this. And we're going to test this out. I'm going to plug this into the computer. We're going to see what happens. All right. Device manager is open. Here is the camera. You can see I have it on the desk. Let me plug this in and let's see what happens. All right. There's the ding dong sound. Ding dong, whatever that is. Oh, it did not work. We got USB camera, but no driver. Let's try updating it. I don't know, search automatically. Oh, it could not find a driver. Ah, oh, this is so disappointing. I mean, I might just try. Let's see what if this, <laughs> could this driver possibly work? Let's gonna search on Windows Update here. I don't know why it brings up that as an option. I mean, I don't think, if it had a driver on Windows Update, it would have actually, oh great, now it's installing some random junk here. Um, it would have automatically installed it. Let's check out some of these extra details here. So here's the USB ID or the VID and the PID. Sometimes you can find drivers by Googling these two sets of numbers here. And a quick Google search here brought up the Microdia Twinkle Cam? Microdia? <laughs> What? Uh, OC45, OC45, 600D. That, <laughs> the Microdia Twinkle Cam. Um, <laughs> never even heard of them. Kernel drivers. I mean, it's fully supported on Linux. Windows just sucks, obviously. Uh, wow. Uh, status. Yeah. Okay. Looks like it's there, at least on some of these systems. And it looks like Microdia made a bunch of different stuff. Foot switch, temperature, humidity sensor. 
integrated webcam, HP webcam. So they were kind of all over the place. Look at all these webcams, stuff like that. But it looks like, uh, what was it again? It was 600D. Here it is. Let's see about drivers. I mean, these websites are extremely shady. Yeah, look, no drivers are found for this device. Okay, I'm gonna pop this disc into the optical drive. Let's see, maybe I can force an XP driver onto this version of Windows 10. I doubt it. Uh, this is a 64-bit version of Windows 10. It has driver signing and stuff like that. And I have that enforced. And I'm sure this is an unsigned driver and it's 32-bit. All right, this is the CD here. So XP drivers? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Let's just try. What's the worst going to happen? Blue screen my computer, I suppose. We're just going to point it to the driver folder here. And nope, <laughs> nothing compatible. Damn, damn. Now, looking at this CD, it does come with like photo impression software. I think it's like a kind of a very rudimentary Photoshop type thing. And then there's a video impression. It's very possible that this software works, even though the drivers aren't going to work. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I want to, I don't want to install this actually. <laughs> All right. Well, so we don't want this to be a bust. So I'm going to grab the XP laptop here and we're going to use this and it has VGA output on it. So I can plug in the capture device. We can actually see what it's doing um, on this computer. So let's see, the computer is booting up. This thing is amazing because the battery works on this. I haven't used this in, I don't know, like a month or two. Oh no, it's loading Linux. Um, well, to be honest, maybe that's okay that it's loading Linux. Plug the capture device in. All righty, I think we are seeing the Linux desktop here. Yes, we are. <laughs> there it is. I love this, this ThinkPad's great. And uh, the capture device here, which I have no idea how clear it is. Let me make this window bigger. Yeah, this is good. I mean, it's a little fuzzy, I guess. VGA capture. Um, let's plug this camera in to the ThinkPad here. If I can find a USB port. And hopefully this Linux distro has a, I don't know, like a video program or something. Something to show the camera. Let's see. All right, we have VLC here, open capture device, video cam, TV, digital, and what, what? <laughs> okay, uh, video device name, video zero. We don't need audio. Oh, 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 oh it worked. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put the camera on top of the other camera. So I have the Elgato face cam. That is junk. Okay, I'm gonna, let's see, first of all, I'm gonna go to full screen. There we go. Okay, uh, there's probably a delay. Let's see if I can get the focus better. <laughs> all right, there we go. Welcome back to Adrian's digital basement. I'm going to have to resynchronize the audio because I can see there's a massive delay between, you know, how it's getting through the laptop to the capture device. But check out that quality. It is like quality with a K. PC camera from D-Link. <laughs> Should I be using this for all of my, <laughs> my <laughs> streaming? How far we have come. Okay, so let's think about this. Um, with the documentation that we have here, I don't think there was a date on here. Maybe I can find one. Now, Windows XP, which it mentions, didn't XP come out in 2002? I think it did. There's just no date anywhere on this. Oh, we have the CD though. So let's check that out. Um, I don't wanna switch off of this. Can I capture the desktop at the same time? No, I cannot. Let me just go quickly look at the CD. I took the CD out. Where is the CD? Here it is. I'm going to put it in the ThinkPad. Oh, this ThinkPad doesn't have an optical drive, does it? Nope, it does not. So I'm just going to stick this back in my, my bench computer. Okay, it's back in there. Now, what I don't know is like, how much was this camera when it was new? This might not have been an expensive camera or anything like that. 
But nonetheless, like, ima- oh, let's see. Let me open the CD. Okay, hold on a sec. Pause. Temporary interruption while I look for dates on the CD. Okay, here it is. It's 2003 are the date codes on here. So we have, this is 20 years of technology advancement. The camera that I'm using normally with this view on the bench is an Elgato face cam, 1080p, USB 3.0. It's basically just a webcam as well. And the quality of it is not amazing or anything, but I got to say it's pretty good. And this is what we're looking at for 20 years of advancement. Right here, this is a webcam <laughs> to this, to this. <laughs> wow, it looks so bad. <laughs> Anyhow, I mean, that's it, really. That's all there is to talk about. Um, <laughs> there it is. What a piece of junk. This has a light on the top there. It's funny. It keeps cutting out on uh, the Linux laptop here. I could just see that it's uh, it's cutting out a little bit. It's very zoomed up, must say. Wow. Okay. One thing I got to show. Let me switch to the dual view here. Okay. One thing I got to show. Look at the size of the lens. It's like a pinhole camera. Look at that. What the heck? How is that even able to resolve anything? I mean, I guess it can just barely. Unfreaking believable. But yeah, there it is. And you see how it's, this is kind of, oh yeah, it's, it's not great, that's for sure. Look at those stylistic vents and these fake buttony things here. They don't actually do anything. And then this does pivot, but it's just entirely plastic. And we got one screw on the back there. You know, it's just a tiny little camera module. The whole thing is, is not, you know, is <laughs> the epitome of, of not being good quality. But, <laughs> ah, this is so funny. All right, well, there you have it. I wanted to just show the uh, D-Link DSB C110 USB streaming video webcam. Send email to your mother with a video in it and everything. It's just, quality is unbelievable. And I mean, we, you know, 20 years of webcam is like what I'm saying, but even the camera that I have here, this Elgato one is not, I bought, I didn't buy it in 2023. It's already a couple of years old at least. And I don't remember how much it cost. It was a maybe $150 or something like that, which is kind of expensive for a webcam. But I wouldn't be surprised if you converted the price of this thing. What well, you know what? Before I end this video, let's do a quick search to try to see if we can find um a price for this thing. So let's go to Google. Uh what is this? DSB. C110D link, uh, PC magazine. I mean, I, I don't know what else to type in there. Here we go. Here we go. Wait, 2015. If economy is more important, $29? What? Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> so it was a really cheap webcam, even in 2003 when it came out. $29.99. Let's convert that. Let's use the inflation calculator here. Uh, it was December of, uh, what was it, 2003. Let's put in 30 bucks. What is that today? $50, okay. So a $50 webcam. <laughs> Let's just read the review really quick. Let's just see what it says here. Ooh, a 0 0.2 inch CMOS sensor. Kind of coincides with the fact that, that that lens opening was Tiny, tiny little thing. Comes with the photo impression and video impression. While it's also a desktop cam, the D-Link unit doesn't include a microphone or button. Oh yeah, there's no mic or a button to take snapshot, but it's $70 less than a Logitech model. Now, if the Logitech model had a microphone and a button, but it had a similar terrible quality, that's bad because 70 bucks then is, is $150, which is as much as this camera was. Someone is trying to charge 10 bucks for this. What? Come, $10 with $10 shipping? What? It's not loading the graphics for some reason, but what a joke. Buy it now. Hey, so if you're watching this video and you saw that 
insanely good quality and you feel like you have to have one of these, well, check eBay because, well, someone's got one listed. Sorry, mine is uh, not for sale because, you know, it's, it's so cool. Uh, and I did open the shrink wrap, which took, what, like half the value off just like that. <laughs> Anyhow, I guess that is going to be it for this video on uh, this awesome, freaking awesome 20-year-old webcam. That quality was like, mwah, like piece de resistance. Amazing quality right there. I'm really glad. You know, there, there have been things that have progressed so much. In fact, a recent video on the channel where I, I talked about like a 3D6 motherboard, how fast it was compared to an XT motherboard, where there was maybe like eight years of time between those two it was literally 25 times faster than the original machine. Just insane ga uh, jumps in performance. And the same could really be said for digital cameras, like these, these types of cameras, both in phones and in you know cameras like this. The quality jumps year to year, like early on, was just staggering. Nowadays, the quality jump is, is almost nothing. Like, you know, a phone from three years ago takes basically as good pictures as a a phone today, a good phone that is. Any performance improvements are just so slight. Same with computers and processors. I mean, like a five-year-old processor or a six, seven, eight-year-old processor is still 100% usable, is great, it's super fast. You hardly notice the difference in speed because the real difference is a core count. It's not in the performance of the single core. But there was a while where we were using this junk and it took years, you know, maybe 10 years after this, we started to get to really decent, decent webcams. Maybe not super high resolution, not like 1080p at 60 frames per second like this one is. But, you know, we were getting there uh, even 10 years ago. And then, you know, it just got better and better and got to the point now where it's like, well, you know, how much better quality do we really need? That's it. This was a reminder of days gone past. And, um, you know, I have nostalgia for old stuff, but I do not have nostalgia for this kind of stuff. The quality was absolutely abysmal. It was back then, still is now. <laughs> like it's just, if you want to do something with like the potato quality, well, <laughs> there it is. So how about we do the outro on the potato camera? So if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up. But if you didn't, you know what to do. Patrons uh, get early access to videos. I want to give them a huge thanks. Their names are going to be scrolling up the side of the screen. You can become a patron too by clicking the link in the description below. Comment down below if you have thoughts about this wonderful video that I just made with this wonderful camera. And um, yeah, I guess that's going to be that. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.